Welcome to our practical lecture. Today we shall look at morphological identification of nematodes belonging to genus Hoplorimus using a microscope. As our norm, we shall start with a brief recap of the diagnostic features for this genus. These features include the round and clear offset labial region, their stylate is strong and robust with tulip like basal knobs. These nematodes have a mastura median bulb within their pharyngeal region and a dorsal overlap of the pharyngeal glands with the intestines. In females, the reproductive system is didelophic with vulva located at mid body. These nematodes also have non opposite fast mids within their lateral field, which are enlarged to sectora. At the posterior end, the tail is short and broadly rounded. After this brief recap, we are now good to kick off with our practical exercise. This is our nematode specimen in the focus, and this is its rabial region. As you can see, this rabial region is round and more offset from the body. Within this same focus, we also have a robust stylet of this nematode, which has a tulip like a knobs at its base. When you move posterior to the pharyngeal region, you can see that this nematode has a mastura median bulb within this region. As we come towards the intestines, we see an overlap of the pharyngeal glands with the intestines. In this nematode, the pharyngeal glands dorsally overlap the intestines. As we continue moving posteriorly, we come across the anterior branch of the female didelophic reproductive system and we can also see the location of the vulva of this nematode in the focus. This vulva is located at mid-body from the both ends of the nematode. Within this genus, the reproductive system has two branches, which stretch to both anterior and posterior side of the nematode. When you focus on the lateral field of this nematode, we can see that there is a circular hole and this is called a first mid. But for this genus, the first mid is enlarged to scuterum. As we come to the posterior end, this is the tail of this nematode. This tail is relatively short and round at its end. From this brief microscopy exercise, we have been able to see the different diagnostic features for genus Hoplorimus. Thank you all for watching and remember to check our YouTube channel for more videos of other genres.